Computing is an area that has grown substantially in the 21st century workforce, and it opens up more doors for students than any other discipline in the world today. In an effort to instill these much needed skills in students, the Dysart Unified School District has partnered with Code to the Future to integrate a comprehensive computer science immersion program into Kingswood, Surprise, and Dysart Elementary Schools. The younger that we get them interested in coding, the more they can grow in that skill and the more it will impact them later in life. My kids are much more apt to take ownership of their learning and show um, what it is that they're learning because they're able to do it through this cool facet of the computer, something that they can relate to easily, something they have at home, they see a lot. Um, so they're able to take it and put it into their own success there. The program includes a series of seven-week lessons in everything from programming to robotics and JavaScript which each focus on giving students the understanding of how to utilize technology to create. This is all achieved using hands-on experiences in an age-appropriate environment as they master the Arizona State Standards. Coding helps you with any type of subject that you have in school. It's pretty much mathematics to do with the robots. And um, when I do the coding, um, the robots, like what angles they have to go at or what degrees they have to turn or um, move. You know, being that language arts and social studies teacher, whatever we're doing there, it can translate right in. So we were doing an All About Me essay and I said, build a scratch project about it. They probably did better on that than any writing project I've given them. And it was the exact same rubric, the exact same standards. It's just a different format of presenting it. And still that engagement was there. So uh, yeah, you can definitely integrate it into all the subject areas. You just have to take the time to really think about how to do it. But once you give it to the kids, and especially if you make the boundaries loose, they run with it and they run wild. Students also learn work and life skills that allow them to collaborate critically think and expand their creativity to new levels. So the first thing I told the kids was, you know, don't ask me, ask your peers because they are coders just like you. And if you get a job coding, that's what you have to do is you have to ask the other coders around you to help debug your program. When they did that, it helped them build those new relationships, build a community within the classroom and their learning skills that they don't even know they're really like learning. You have to figure out problems, like solve real life problems, and when you figure them out, you learn from your mistakes, and you can fix them. Because you basically get to see where your faults are, and to where you know how to do it more efficiently. The coding lessons culminate with an epic build, where students get to showcase what they have learned to parents and community members. So the epic build is, you know, these programs are about seven weeks long, and so for the seven weeks, they're learning foundational skills. They're building off of prior knowledge and prior coding skills to create a new big project with a big idea involved. So for my class this time, they had to build a robot that could perform a task that a human normally does. That's a big thing for, you know, fifth graders to think about. So I have some kids who, when their robot sees a green piece of paper, it like floors it. It sees yellow, it slows, and it sees red and it comes to a stop. I have another group and they have a basket and they're pushing the basket over as if it was emptying out the trash. I have another group that's trying to pick up a cup. So they're learning all these different skills and their epic build is that final showcase of what they put together learning all these new skills. As the needs of industry and workforce constantly change, Code to the Future will allow Dysart students to be prepared to enter a job market where technology and computer science skills will accelerate their learning potential and contribution to society. Code to the Future has been amazing to watch in my classroom with the kinder kids and just see them grasp onto it and get excited about it and want to learn and apply it to all other areas. So I do think it's very beneficial. It also made them a stronger community within my room. I mean, I've never seen these kids care for each other as much as they do right now. I also can speak on behalf of my own kids that they are so excited about coding and what they're learning at school that they're going home and wanting to learn more of it and researching more of it and finding out other ways to do it. Um, 
My son has recently tried starting to do JavaScript because he was so interested in this, he wanted to know what was the next step after Scratch and the blocks. So we're working on that at home. So it's just neat how the kids get so excited about it that it's transferring over everywhere.